Okay, we're going to do our own personal trader markers. So the first thing we want to do is take the coordinates for where we want to put the markers. So we'll just say around here. We'll do this the same way we marked out the traders using com. Same applies, player management, highlight yourself. I'll take a screenshot of those. I'll take one quickly. Those coordinates, X, Y, and Z. And you want to go to the next position that you want want to put a trade on. So I'll say, yeah. Uh, I'll go to my other traders. Teleport outside the gate. You can't glitch through them gates. <laughs> Say we want to put our other one here. Do the same again. Go back to player management. Take that into the middle of the screen. You want to make sure you refresh coordinates. So you take the fresh coordinates for your new position. Same again, you want to take a screenshot of that X, Y, and Z. I'll just do it there. That'd be our next position. And you just want to carry that on and take a screenshot of each position you want to put a marker in. Depending on how many markers you want to, you want to use. It's my other trader complex. I've been to so far. We'll back it. We'll do that now. We'll put markers in these ones. So we go back to your desktop. We shut the server down. Okay. So we got all our screenshots. We have them all stored. We now want to uh, download the map settings.json so we can edit it so this is a site but we don't want to go in there yet I'm going to show you that in a minute Alright, so we got all our coordinates taken down and our screenshots. We want to go to our server, make sure it's shut down. Now we need to retrieve a file from the server. So we go in the file browser, we go down to Daisy Standalone, we can do this different ways. Go to config, down to your expansion mod down the settings and map settings.json so we just take the name of that go back out to our dashboard we could do this anywhere you could do it in the file location but I'm just going to do it on the desktop just to make it easier we take that name it has to be called map settings.json We'll just add a two in there because I've already got mine over here. My edited one. So we just make that two. That would be our no normal settings. We go into file it or notepad plus plus. We go in now to our server. We want to open up the map settings.json. We just take that now. copy that and we can go back into our notepad plus plus and paste that in there that's our one way of doing it 
you'd have that then or you could go into filezilla same location again you want to go to daisy standalone down to your config folder down to the expansion expansion mod down the settings and then there's your map sentence.json again so you just download that to wherever file location you want highlighting the three dots and then right clicking on the map sentence.json and upload it we don't need to do that same thing we're trying to do we just want to edit it and then re-upload it again with the new edited file so once you once you've downloaded it you want to go to this oh this site right here this is the server or the daisy server hosting it does all the scripts and that and it gives you all your parameters that you can use so there's the file we just took out the map settings.json there's our normal settings and here's the command line for your trader marker so tells you everything about them the uid every id has to be different for each trader visibility is still to do it's down here tells you everything about all of them and you got uh, is3d one that just makes it visible so the marker the trader marker that you put up or whatever it's for will be visible to everybody when they enter the game regardless then it, you've got your marker name and that can be called anything it doesn't matter <coughs> excuse me your icon name so you take an icon from down here these are the list of the different icons that you can have so we'd want trader and trader should be there somewhere there we go so you just take any one of them out if you want a different icon for something that's your color so that's the color that the icon will be and then your position x y and z then your screenshots then you'd put your x y and z into from your screenshots in uh, what else was there the only thing about color if you want to use a different color that they, they have a website here that you can go into and just type in whatever whatever color you're looking for we generate a, a code then you just take that code you copy it we go back to our notepad plus plus we just go down a few lines I'm just going to throw it in there for the moment, which is not ideal. <laughs> now, we want to go to our to that website, so we'll back up, scroll all the way down to the bottom part of the command line that has the traders. There's your normal settings. Then we got server marker, so we'll just take from server markers scroll all the way down and we'll take all those the whole command we'll copy that we want to go back to our notepad plus plus now we need to take rid get rid of the marker the servers that part because that's the part that we just took out so we delete that there paste that in there then that color reference that we just took we can copy that again we go back up there's a color so we just paste that in there repeating it for each of them that will give each of your traders your own color that you want them to have I'll stop it I will give them all the same color your own private color that you want all you want you want to make sure now say if you wanted to put more traders in say you wanted like 
you have there all three already so say you wanted four or five you just take from the top of that bottom of that command line that's the end of the command line for the, la for the last trailer marker so we'd copy that we scroll down here as you can see that's where the command line closes usually so what we'll do is we'll take that and we'll get rid of it and we'll replace it with what we just copied now that should be all correct has a finishing command on it each of them the bottom doesn't have a finishing command on it same again we want to take our all we will be all right for the color because we just copied them but we want to make sure that each of these traders is mar marked a different name they can't have the same name so we just mark them up whatever I know where my traders are and we just say the next one was at the Northwest Airfield or something anywhere any way you want to put them is totally up to you really you just have to make sure that they all have a different name the bottom the text that appears that doesn't matter you could have that all the same if you wanted or you could just make it like oh. trade a five do the same then for this one four three you can really name them anything it doesn't matter once they're not the same once you get them done and you go to your screenshots you take your screenshot say that's my first trader marker location take that x y and z back to our notepad go up to our first trader location so that would be green mountain that would be Camarinha, the two normal traders. So this would be my first personalized trader. And we we simply just want to paste those in there. X, Y, and Z. The only thing you want to be careful of when you're doing, I think I already said it, but I'll say it again because you don't want to mess it up. When you're taking the height, the Y setting, which is your height reference you want to make sure you add 20 or 30 meters on so the marker isn't down on the ground getting in your way and messing shit up once, once you have transferred all that day over and you've got all your coordinates in you're happy with the color and the names of your traders you can simply back out and save it I don't need to save it you back out and save it you upload it either way now you can go back to Nitrado we could do this multiple ways we could just go into there we could take that whole command get rid of it go back into our file I have my files over here oh, hitting extra buttons now delete it by accident <laughs> copy that we could simply go into our control panel and paste that in there and save it and start our server and it it would work and your markers will be there or we can do it through the file silly way which would be better far better so we'll go back up we want to go into our config folder again back down to our expansion mod settings and then there's a map settings.json we highlight that we just delete it I have my edited one over here if I didn't move off it where's it gone what get out of that I think I'm on the wrong 
wrong one. No, I am in the right one. There we go. There's mine right there, so you just highlight the three dots. Go over, right click on it, and upload. I just have to rename mine now because you want it just to be called map settings.json. So I'll just take that out. There it is uploaded. It's the same again once you have it uploaded all the way. You back out of everything, you go back to your server, you start it, everything should be back and there now you should have your trader markers on display. Now higher up. And there we go. There's our trader markers up. As you can see, you got all four of them in place. It might look low here, but that's only simply because of the contours of the ground around us. We just teleport down there quickly. There we go. Should be at each trader. They'd be wherever you, wherever you put the markers. Good idea just to add the 20, 30 meters onto the high, the Y setting. So you lift it so it's not stuck in around the traders right in the middle of it. And stick it up like 20, 30 meters. Even more if you'd like, but you don't want to go too high or <laughs> be you'll need a helicopter to see it <laughs> but that's it folks that's how you put personalized markers onto the map permanent markers i hope that's help helpful for some of you on your servers stop cluttering up the map with all these all these bloody markers as ever cheers for watching and take care